What happened to the New Jersey Devils? This season was supposed to be the big chance for the Devils to show last year wasn't just luck. They had a great season before with their best record in over a decade, and they looked like they were getting better with a young, talented team. Jack Hughes became a star, and they even brought in Timo Meyer to make them stronger. Everyone in New Jersey had high hopes, with many experts saying they could win the Stanley Cup. And at the start of the season, the Devils were unstoppable with their power play. In the first 20 games, they scored the most goals in the league when they had a man advantage with 25 goals. But they only scored 37 goals when it was even numbers on the ice. So most of their goals were coming from power plays. And, well, at the moment, things didn't look too bad for the Devils. Because even though their power play would eventually cool down, their numbers at 5 on 5 weren't that depressing. The idea was that everything would eventually even out over time. But instead of establishing themselves as a powerhouse, the Devils have been one of the most disappointing teams of the season. It's almost embarrassing. With just a few weeks left in the regular season, they're pretty much out of the running for the Eastern Conference playoffs. What went wrong? How did a team with so much potential end up sinking so dramatically? The Devil's season to forget has been like a perfect storm of problems stacking up one after another. So what did general manager Tom Fitzgerald get wrong? Let's talk about the big issues, the goalies and defense. Last year, having Vitek Vanacek and Akira Schmid was a big strength, but this year it's been a real mess. Between Nico Dawes, Akira Schmid, and Vitek Vanacek, the Devils have lit in almost 18 goals more than the league average in even strength. Vanacek never got into his groove and even lost his starting spot after a really bad stretch midseason. Schmid couldn't keep up his great rookie year either, with numbers way below what was expected. And the third goalie, Nico Dawes, wasn't any better. When you put it all together, the Devils' goalie situation has been a disaster that's cost them a lot of games. But the problems don't end there. The defense, which was one of the best in the league last year, has been far from impressive this season, taking a step backward from previous seasons. Dougie Hamilton's been out since November 28th. Jonas Siegenthaler and John Marino have had forgettable seasons, making many mistakes. Marino's been on the ice for 62 goals against, the third highest in the NHL at 5-on-5. Five five. Nobody on the entire Devils roster was on the ice for 62 goals against. Marino's averaging more than a goal against per game on the ice. Clearly, his drop in production is a big reason why the Devils are where they are. And let's not forget about the offense. Up front, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Jack Hughes started off great, becoming one of the top scorers in the league but then he got sidelined with a couple of injuries for a few weeks. When he came back, he just wasn't the same. He's missed 16 games, which may sound like nothing, but it keeps him from reaching his full potential. Even though he's on pace for a 103-point season, a player like Jack Hughes being injured affects a team. His teammate, Nico Heischer, has also had his ups and downs, and he clearly expresses this in interviews calling the Devils' performances embarrassing, and he's disappointed. To add on to this big enough open wound already, the addition of Timo Meyer, who the Devils paid a lot for, hasn't been able to perform at his best this season, and has seemed really lost and uncomfortable on his new team. The chemistry between the forward lines hasn't quite clicked, something that played a crucial role in last year's success. The constant injuries and lineup changes by Coach Lindy Ruff didn't help in this aspect. Speaking of Ruff, the first positive of the Devil season was firing him. While no one can question his experience, his coaching style was questionable, to say the least. When things got tough, Ruff couldn't figure out how to get the team back on track, leading the Devils into a deeper hole. He didn't use key players like Timo Meyer, Alexander Holtz, and even Jack Hughes effectively. Sometimes his lineup decisions were confusing, and don't even get me started on their power play. From being among the league's best, it plummeted to the bottom without Ruff lifting a finger to try and fix the issue. Especially after Dougie Hamilton's injury. He never knew how to make the necessary adjustments to stop that area from being a mess. The truth is, the team never quite got their act together. And you could see the lack of motivation from a mile away. 
but what hurt them most are the losses against teams that could easily be considered pushovers. The defeats against weaker teams are the main reason why the Devils are in such a sorry state in the standings right now. Because even last year, with Ruff still as their coach, the guys struggled to beat the weaker teams. Out of their 30 losses, 12 were against teams that didn't even make the playoffs. This season has been even worse. Just look at the losses against the Sharks, Ducks twice, Coyotes also twice, Blue Jackets, Blues, Canadians, Flames, Capitals twice as well, and to top it off, the Senators. The thing is, the Devils should be winning those games against easier opponents and be ready for those matchups. But no. In 50 out of 71 games this season, they shot themselves in the foot by letting in the first goal. It's crazy. It's like they were starting at a disadvantage right from the beginning. They lost too many games against teams they should have beaten. Their handling of the goalies and lineup changes left a lot to be desired. The adjustments they made to their defense and offense didn't work out. For example, even though Marino and Seigenthaler struggled a lot on defense all season, the system they use is just a mess. Have you noticed that almost every time the puck goes behind the net, two defenders immediately rush after it? It happens with all the defensive pairs. It's part of the strategy they're taught. And don't even get me started on the countless times those guys run off to who knows where on the other side of the play, leaving the opponents wide open. It's a mess. The truth is, that defensive system they're using right now isn't working at all with the lineup they have. It's a total mess. And we've already talked about the player's performance. But who do we blame for the strategy? You guessed it, another great reason for Ruff getting the boot. But that's not all. Off the ice, some issues that I can't get into have seen players arrested. This of course didn't help when the team needed full focus. Obviously, dealing with these kinds of problems during important games only made things worse. What else can I say? It's been a mix of many things that completely ruined what was supposed to be a great season for the Devils. From a goalie performing well below average, a defense not as solid as last year, a very inconsistent offense, a coach who was unable to turn things around, off-ice problems, and a lack of leadership on the ice, everything came together to cause this disaster and let down thousands of loyal fans in New Jersey and NHL fans in general. Because honestly, we expected more from the Devils. Now the big question is, what will the Devils do for the next season? Will they look for new goalies and defensive players? Will they change up their offense? One thing's for sure. After a mess like this, they can't just sit around. A team with so much young talent can't afford another season like this. The Devils need to step it up for next year. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.